Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Weapon. Welcome back to Space Engineers. In this episode, as you can see in front of me, I am having my projector system built, or being, is my projector system is uh, helping my nanite system, or the other way around, to build this giant monstrosity. And what is this giant monstrosity, you ask? Well, I remember watching old Direwolf20 play this game long, long time ago, and I just was browsing the uh, the workshop, looking for more mods and things that we could play around with to, to, to give us a little quality of life, or spices of life, if you will. And, uh, yeah, I, I found his old digger ship, his old mining ship, and you're, you're wondering why I'm doing this. Well, I come to the conclusion that the, uh, the old nanite system, it's just, it's, it's just too slow for my liking. I'm, I've been over here, I've had this game running for almost four and a half hours now, and as you can see, let me, let me bust out through here for a second, go down to my, oh, wow, laggy. I've been over here for a few hours, and basically all of my hydrogen tanks are not nearly full. It's, it's grabbing all the other stuff, and of course I've had it set just for the ice. And, I mean, all of these are, are they're, they're relatively full, but it's, it's just too slow for me. They just keep grabbing, you know, I set it to find ice or get ice, and it's just, it's just too slow. So, I found this old ship of his... And I did a little bit of, uh, went to the creative world, did a little bit of modifications to it myself. Uh, and we also added a few, few mods. I'm wondering why it's lagging. Maybe one of the, the mods that I added is, is making it lag. But needless to say, we have, uh, what is this? This is the giant Earthbreaker Drill mod, which is, these things are huge. But it says on, on the page that they gather a lot of resources. And as you can see, um, the some of the drills, that, like the ones here on top, are basically what Direwolf put in his little ship pack. But one thing that I did add, I added a inventory system on the top to expel any excess stone. Because, you know, stone is good, but you only need so much of it to make uh, reactor parts. So I... Uh, I added this little system on top to, and then it only, it's got a cup, I think it's got filters on it somewhere. Yeah, it's got a filter on it right here. That, uh, or underneath here, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's underneath. There's a filter that only allows stone to go through. I'm hoping that, uh, that filter retains its information from, from the actual blueprint that I made here. Uh, another thing that I added was tiered thrusters. So I think these are high tier can't remember what these were uh, but I added the tier thruster pack that way we could probably upgrade our ship with said tier thrusters uh, we can actually take a look at them with thrusters here you got you know the large level you got armored thrusters as well with this pack and you got the ones that have the little armored slope so that way if it's you don't want to you know your thruster sticking out of the side of your ship if it's a boxy shape you can have it uh, flush with uh, with the slope little thing and make your ship more curved and rounded I quite like it but they also have the box the box variant of them and you also have you know tier thrusters one two level three four and then you got the angel tier which is the best you can get but as you go up in tier if you look on the right hand side there uh, for small ships just to take for instance I mean tier one is two steel plates, two construction components. I mean, they're relatively cheap, but as you go higher, it takes a lot more stuff. Let's see. Let's that doesn't look like the the tier one. The tier one large thruster takes a lot. It takes sixty computers, uh, six metal grids, six superconductor conduits, which takes a lot of gold. And then you have level two, which still is not that much. I mean, it's it's for and you have the large variant, so it's a small and large variant for both, so that's good. We can look at the large ones. 80 computers with this one, with a small one. But if you look down at the bottom, let's say for even tier 1 large, actually we'll go with small, um, the, the smaller version. For like level 1, it takes 110 thruster components, so it's not cheap. It's not cheap by any imagination, but they do, they go, do go up in price, so it... it 
it makes it kind of fair to to actually make these thrusters because the some of these are just it like advanced thruster component which is added by the mod i do believe uh let's take a quick look to see if it actually is added i have a uh a panel right here i can go to if it would stop lagging there we go so we can go to comp uh, components and see here we are with the advanced there's two two advanced thruster modules we can make those if we need to i think it's because i added the uh, the tier armor pack or not the yeah the tier armor pack and the tier thruster pack so but i think both of them are adding the thruster module advanced thruster modules but as you can see here it's kind of kind of hard uh i think it's kind of hard to see but it requires like a lot of platinum a lot of gold a lot of silver you know so this is basically for those of of people who are playing around in you know space engineers and they're working still with the vanilla thrusters and your ship just doesn't go as fast or or it doesn't it doesn't stop so we like we could have the the normal thrusters on the back which is fine for goods because we have a lot of them on this ship but say for the for instance we we having a lot of trouble slowing down so we can then turn and change out these thrusters here in the front to maybe a tier 3 or tier 4 so that way we have a lot of stopping power I don't know. I thought it was a cool idea to get the tier thruster pack because, you know, the standard thrusters, they do their job, but in order to, you know, if we have a lot of thrusters here on the back, we need the equal amount of thrusters on the front. And that, that just makes a ship kind of ugly if you think about it. I mean, this was, this uh, ship here is still a work in progress, but uh, it was a concept of um, a friend of mine. And yeah, I wanna I wanna try to keep with this concept rather than adding more and more and more thrusters. So we're we're just adding, you know, we're gonna go around. I'll do a lot of this off camera, but I'll go around adding the tier thruster sets, not maybe on the back here, but mostly on the front and probably uh, you know the downward and upward thrust as well. But not only is that, you know, we got the tier atmospherics. We also have tiered. Uh, I think we have tiered. Um, it said it had tiered, uh, hydrogens as well, but it doesn't look like it does. Well, that's fine, because hydrogens in their own right are super strong, so it's not a, not a big deal. It's just that the, uh, ion thrusters is what I, most importantly, want to, to, uh, address. So we can actually go around, you know, see, like, you see how we have this stuff on the slope? We can actually change some of these out. So we can go ahead and do this. Do I have enough inventory? Yeah, I got enough inventory space. Go ahead and take this ion thruster out of commission. And what we could do, oops, wrong button. What we could do here is grab a thruster. Let's grab tier four slope. Yeah, let's grab that one. And you see, I could put it in there. Oh, wow, that thing is humongous. Maybe we should grab the, the smaller version. Uh, where is, that's the large, where's the small slope? Uh, that's the large one. Where is the two? Okay. Okay. Is that the tier? Is that the large one? Let's grab that one. Let's see if that's, that's the one I'm looking for. Yeah, that's the one I'm looking for. See, now I can actually take this and put it inside. And if my, if I probably have the stuff, some of the stuff already. Oh, I need, uh, advanced thruster components. Okay. So we go over here to my little keypad that I have over here. And let's just make, uh, I'll need like a, at least a hundred of them. I'll make a hundred of each. See, what's the difference between them? <coughs> Doesn't look like there's any difference between them as far as ingredients go. I'm missing advanced thruster module. Ah, okay. So one's the thruster module, or they're both thruster module. Oh, there we go. There we go. And for a second, I was like, what? So here we go. It's making them. Awesome. Still, still being made. But anyway, I'll show you. I'll show you later on in the in the episode. You know, this one being completely fixed and repaired. We can also do that for the second one right here to make it uh, all cool looking. 
and then we'll just go around doing that but uh, I figure this is gonna take a while but I just thought I'd come in and show everybody what I had planned on doing and as you can see a lot of the things down here are already being built uh, a lot of a lot of resources being used and um, I got a lot of crafting to do as well with all those thruster components and whatnot so my energy is running low so hopefully we is the the generator up and running yes it is we should be able to be get in here and uh recharge yourself yeah here we go press v to, to get a bird's eye view right now we're connected to the main ship so we can actually go forward backward left and right if we wanted to but uh Right now, I'm just, I have, you know how the projectors work. You have to connect it to the to the ship or connect it to somewhere as far as the projector's concerned before you're able to, to build anything. And I'm not, I'm not having to do it. It's all hands-free because of our nifty nanite system. But hopefully by the time we get this all done and said and done, we'll be able to have enough, uh, enough things to go around. And what do you need here? Why are you not building? Oh, because you need massive amounts of steel plates. All the mods that I've gotten today, they are not cheap. I mean, they, uh, you know, the thrusters, or not the, thr the thrusters, the drill here, you know, it says it needs, you know, a good many, almost 10,000 plates in itself. But in turn, it is that powerful. So the, the cost outweighs the, the fact of it being... You know powerful it is more powerful than the normal th uh, normal drills so the cost reflects that and I like that I like that if it was you know really really super cheap I would be like nah man get this out of here that's that's you know super cheaty but uh, yeah their 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 cost represents how well they work so hopefully we can get done get all this taken care of get everything built and hopefully the lot excuse me hopefully the lag will stop soon because I think it's just being everything's being built, either that or it's just the mods that I have installed, which I need to I need to figure it out. Oop. I'm frozen. Did the game crash? Nope, no, not yet, not yet. Maybe I should just stand still, let this finish. I think it's because a lot of things are happening at once. We're trying to craft. We're trying to build a projection. The projection's trying to keep stable. So, but yeah, if there's any other mods you think that uh, I could incorporate into this build. Or, or just any mods in general, which is a quality of life type thing. Not something that's super, super cheaty, mind you. Just something that uh, that can make us get around, do a lot of things faster, easier. Um, but in its own right, be, you know, if it's something that I have to build, make it uh, something that's worth its cost, not something that's just going to cost me one of one of everything. And, you know, it's, it's super OP, so... Yep, that's where we stand right now. We're just, I'm waiting for this thing to get built so I can go and dig, dig into this asteroid, try to find some more ice, because that's ultimately where we're left off right now, because I don't think we have, I think the containers, is this the, the button to open the door? Yes. Because I don't think the containers in here are starting to fill up yet. No, they're, they're only, they're only partially full. They're, they're filling up, yes, but slowly. And I figure if I can get them, you know, get something that I can mine the ice myself in a large, large quantity, we should be, you know, on the go. And what I, I've also added in this pack is something that will allow me or hopefully reduce the fact of um, with the landing legs being glitched the way they are when you jump. I added something in the pack called a magnetic pad. Let's see if we can find that. Mag... If I can spell yes magnetic surface magnetic pad we go ahead and take care of what this looks like yeah we, we put a magnetic pad somewhere I, I do want to take this ship around I'm not going to deconstruct this ship even though I do have it uh, blueprinted uh, okay I will make a little docking pad somewhere back here so that way all I got to do is just bump up against it and it, it'll lock me these pads use electricity or use energy from the ship, so it, it, it maintains a lock. 
Uh, unless the electricity is being bugged or anything when we jump, we'll have to test this out later. But uh, hopefully we can find, find a place down here to, to set this or even um, make this a little bit deeper. Make this little hangar right here a little bit deeper and actually have the ship dock in here. That would be kind of cool. But it would be hard to get out if I actually landed on the on the surface. But we'll see. We'll see what how it goes when it all is said and done. But uh, for now, I'm actually going to let this thing build. I will be back when it's finished. Well, as you can see here, one of the thrusters has already been completed. It is super super expensive. Took a bunch of titanium, but uh, not titanium, platinum. It took a bunch of platinum. It's still not completely done. But it's enough to where it actually will run. It's something that's functional. Um, it's just waiting on six more advanced thruster modules, which I may have to queue up for uh, in our assemblers. Uh, almost evaded my, my sense there. Ah, But as you can see, it's very, very sloped. It's sleek. I went ahead and uh, took this one out as well and added a thrust uh, slope there. That looks kind of cool. Uh, now, granted, <clears throat> I will make this statement. If any of you out there that watch this series say that this is super cheaty, that I should just get rid of it, then let me know. I will make sure that I get rid of whatever mod that we are, uh, we're using that you find super cheaty. But uh, I think all of it is well balanced in the amount of resources it needs. So it's not like, you know, you can get it from start the game oh i'm already at tier four thruster no you you need tons and tons of platinum tons and tons of gold something if you just it's just basically if you have all kinds of resources that uh you just don't know what to do with anymore and then and i'm at to the, i'm almost to that point i mean my nanite system has done me well but that was that's obsolete now because i'm just i'm trying to get this series underway but it's kind of hard to do when it is so slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this big beastie out once it's completed and go mining galore, drill a borehole into this and probably take down the whole system I had over here for the nanites. Uh, and then just leave the nanite system basically to repair my ship, which uh, I don't think that's a bad, bad thing to do. If we bump into something, it will repair it. It will make sure it... Uh, builds what it needs to repair the ship uh, also between cuts I actually dug into here and made a little porthole because I do have I do have a little uh, port on the back so when we do come from a long day's mining we can actually hook up to the ship and have it all integrated in no problem and it doesn't doesn't look too you know out of the normal so you know this could be our port for any any other ships that we might get that we might need you know something for uh, I don't think I need a welder ship anymore because of the nanite system but that's okay that's okay we will build us a giant base somewhere but uh, this is all in the name of getting to the alien planet so hopefully hopefully nobody's too angry with me with me adding these new mods uh, sorry we're not able to showcase any of them today because I'm still waiting on the resources and I'm trying to do this as legit as possible I don't want to have to spawn in any of the resources uh, to actually get all of this built and made and whatever so I'm trying to use my what I have in my internal stores to do this so now that I know that I need a lot of iron because a, a lot of the, the stuff is needing to be iron uh, all the stuff that is, I need is basically iron now uh, and then we just come in here and just uh, make good use of all the resources that are in here. So I'm going to set, set these new hulls back to, to getting everything rather than just straight up ice. Because, like I said in the before, it's super, super slow. I even built multiples down this direction just to get more and more ice. But it's still way too slow. I probably could litter this place full of these systems and it would I don't I don't think it would get me enough ice to what I need. So this is my solution. Hopefully it's okay. Hopefully you understand. Uh, like I said, if it's if you think it's cheaty, but uh, you know, just let me know and I'll uh, I'll get rid of it. But for now, I'm gonna 
get ready to take this thing out. It looks like it's almost done. It's still waiting on a, a couple thousand plates. But I'll go mining in between episodes. Hopefully I can get a lot done with, with this thing. I used to fly this around in my personal world. So I, I have a sense of what's, what's in store. Uh, now that most of it is built, we can actually take a peek inside and show you the innards of this ship of the I mean it's it's based off Direwolf 20's ship as I said but I did make a few modifications I added a couple of more uh, large cargo containers a lot of cargo sorters added some more um, gyroscopes and I also added a couple more jump drives in here so that way I could uh, jump to distant you know distant places get the stuff that I need and then come back so that way my mothership doesn't have to leave or do anything extraneous make this I mean and for what it is this ship is really really agile you don't think it would be but it is but it is I did add the shield mod so I do have some small shield generators in here uh, I will incorporate the shield generators possibly if if everybody is in agreement with me keeping it uh, I will add it to the mothership soon uh, I gotta build a place for it. I am lost for words on why this is not what this went, what this was. But um, I don't question. I just leave it, leave it go. And yeah, there's a oxygen generator. I think yeah, there's an oxygen generator underneath the car, uh, the cockpit here. And it, it, as you can see, there's still a lot, lot more room in here to spare. So I probably could add a lot more stuff. There's a timer system. I don't remember what the program that was on here. Um, what is this? The oh, it's the cargo. Uh, lets me know what kind of cargo, what kind of stuff is on my system. So it did. It did save that. And let's see. Might have to reconfigure the LCD panel for that. That way I can see exactly what I'm holding. I think that was the program. I don't know if it's still good. So I have to double check all that. But I just tell me what you think down in the comments below. I'd like to know what you think. Would like to know, you know, your thoughts and what you think on it. And uh, if you have any other ships that uh, could do, you know, some good and or have a purpose, then let me know, and I may uh, I may spotlight it in one of my videos. And uh, yeah, but uh, I'm gonna go around the ship now. Probably change out some of the thrusters. Like I said, I'm gonna stick from. I'm going to try to refrain from doing it from the back. Just stick on getting the, the tier thrusters on the front. So that way, when we go, we go. And then if we need to stop, we have that stopping power. But anyway, thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, comment section down below. Tell me all about it. Anyway, until next time, see you later.